So Yanis, we've been here, lots of people talking about, and even in general in the world, what's wrong and there's Armageddon and this is going to go wrong. And let's talk about what could go right. Well, you know, is there any big new vision for the world? Technically, everything could be made infinitely better within a few weeks, at least in Europe. Because we have, think about it, people talk about debt and losses and all that. We have the largest pile of money sitting there, uh, around 3 trillion in Europe, doing nothing too scared to be invested. So all we need to do is to mobilize it, really, and to mobilize it to be invested into good stuff, not bad stuff. We need a lot more of investment in uh, green energy, in sustainable technologies, in health, in education, in looking after the elderly. Uh, there are so many things with that, that we, do, we can do with the money. The money is there. And the institutions are there. We have the European Investment Bank. It could shift this pile of, uh, of yeah. idle savings into investments, but and you can have the ECB, which is already printing 80 billion, supporting the EIB doing it. The money is there, the ideas are there, we know what to do. I mean, are we talking just about a colossal failure of imagination? Indeed. What we need to do is we need to uh, allow our dying illusions to perish and replace them with imagination. What are the illusions? Well, the main one is that the powers that be know what they're doing and that uh, Europe is integrating and uh, from crisis to crisis we build a stronger, ever closer union. That's the, the illusion within Europe. The broader illusion was, you remember the trickle-down effect? That, do. if, that if you allow the rich to get richer, eventually the, the wealth would trickle down everywhere else and uh, we're going to have stability and greater equality as a result of the trickle-down. Uh, these illusions have been smashed. The result is, uh, on, on the one hand, we have progressive movements uh, in almost every country, including the United States, and on the other, you have the Trumps and the Le Pens and the Golden Dawns of the world, and replace them with imagination, you replace them with lateral thinking. Um, look at the problem holistically. In Europe, we haven't been doing this at all. It's an Irish problem, a Greek problem, a German problem, it's a European problem, and we haven't thought about ways of imagining a European solution. So, imagining a European solution, an international solution, is the way ahead. The Zurich Docky Book Festival. With air. Global names, local vibe.